New images of Will Smith attending Diddy's party have surfaced, causing outrage among fans. As one of the most respected people in the industry, his presence at such an event is a disappointment. Many are now wondering if he supported Diddy's alleged unlawful activities. Could these images destroy Will Smith's career? What did he say about such allegations? So join us as we explore how the new party footage of Diddy and Will Smith changes everything. Will Smith and P. Diddy have been linked since the late 1990s and early 2000s, with the two men frequently attending events together. P. Diddy released his debut single in 1996, while Will Smith released his debut single a year later in 1997. They have both been involved in various high-profile projects and have been spotted together at numerous events. In 2003, the pair were pictured together with boxing legend Muhammad Ali at a launch event for his book. Five years later, in 2008, they were spotted with Will's son, Jaden Smith, P. Diddy's son, Christian Combs, and actor Tyrese Gibson at the premiere of Columbia Pictures. However, it's not just their friendly appearances that have raised eyebrows. Old pictures of P. Diddy's parties have surfaced, showing a disturbing and objectifying display of women. One particular image from a 2004 freak-off party in Miami has sparked outrage, with a woman decoratively positioned on a table serving as a centerpiece for a food display. Diddy is seen savoring a chocolate-dipped strawberry from the woman, while other high-profile guests, including Will Smith, Bruce Willis, Diana Ross, and Owen Wilson, look on. It has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm, caused by and during the assault. The party, which was attended by many A-list celebrities, has been criticized for its objectifying and exploitative treatment of women. The fact that Will Smith, a respected figure in the entertainment industry, was in attendance has raised questions about his involvement and knowledge of the events that took place. As the images of Will Smith at Diddy's parties continue to circulate, fans are left wondering, what was he thinking? And why would a religious person like him attend such events? The internet is filled with theories about Will Smith's attendance at Diddy's parties. But what do we really know? Let's explore some of the wildest theories going viral online. The most disturbing aspect of these parties is the alleged attendance of Jaden Smith, Will's son. Fans have been speculating about why Will Smith would take his son to such events, with some suggesting that it was a way of introducing him to the entertainment industry. Yes, you heard it right. According to fans, Diddy's parties have been a way for celebrities to connect with each other, build relationships, and advance their careers. These events have been a platform for industry professionals to network, collaborate, and learn from each other. Oh, you heard with Papa, don't hit me no more. Let's go kick in the door, wave in the 4 4. Hey, 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 yeah. Fans have speculated that Will Smith took Jaden to Diddy's parties to help him advance his career. Jaden has since become a successful actor and rapper in his own right, and some believe that his attendance at Diddy's parties played a role in his success. Online people have been speculating about the extent of Will's involvement in P. Diddy's illegal activities, with some thinking that he may have been more involved than he has let on. Do you guys remember the incident that occurred during the 94th Oscars when Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair, which Will Smith took offense to? In a shocking turn of events, Will Smith walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock across the face. It left the fans in shock and many were wondering how the situation would resolve. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, guess what? Diddy played a major role in saving his friend's reputation. He was scheduled to present the 50th anniversary tribute to the Godfather trilogy. Instead of ignoring the situation, Diddy addressed it head-on, trying to lighten the mood and bring the audience back to the celebration at hand. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will and Chris, we're going to solve that like family at the gold party. Okay? But right now, we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Diddy's comments were seen as a clear defense of Will Smith, and many speculated that it was his way of repaying Will for his loyalty. While Diddy's support for Will Smith at the Oscars seemed like a gesture of goodwill, 
Rumors are now circulating that suggest a more sinister motive. What if Diddy's help came with a price? Was he trying to buy Will's silence? Do you know there are rumors of Diddy threatening Will and Jada? Fans are wondering what Diddy could possibly have on Smith that would make him feel threatened. Let's uncover this rumor. In the early 2000s, Diddy allegedly threatened to physically confront Will due to his belief that Smith and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, were making inappropriate advances towards his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. Gene Deal, a former member of Bad Boy Records' security team, recalled an encounter between Diddy and Will Smith, which took place during the time Diddy was dating Lopez prior to their breakup in 2001. According to Deal, Diddy became upset and threatened to hit Will Smith, believing that the Smiths were trying to hook up with J-Lo. Deal walked towards the rapper who told him that he felt the Smiths were making inappropriate advances towards Lopez. Diddy then requested that Deal remain in his vicinity in case he needed protection. So I go towards him and he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close because I'm going to snuff him. In case you don't know, Diddy and Lopez dated on and off from 1999 until early 2001, when the pair split amid strains due to Combs' looming trial on gun and bribery charges stemming from a December 1999 shooting incident at Club New York. Well, according to People, Diddy must be using footage of Will Smith at his parties as a way to threaten the actor. This could be a way for Diddy to exert control over Will Smith, potentially damaging his reputation if the footage is leaked. By using this footage, Diddy may be trying to silence Will Smith or prevent him from speaking out against him. What does Will Smith have to say about all this drama? Did anyone ever try to warn us about Diddy's illegal activities and intentions? Stay with us as we uncover the details. The allegations against Diddy are serious, and fans are eager to know whether Will Smith was involved in any way. As a regular attendee at Diddy's parties, Will Smith's presence has raised questions about his knowledge of the alleged wrongdoing. Fans are demanding answers, but so far, Will Smith has remained tight-lipped. It is worrying his fans who are starting to lose patience. As one of the most respected figures in Hollywood, Will Smith's reputation is built on his integrity and moral compass. His failure to address the allegations is starting to erode that reputation, and fans are beginning to wonder if he is hiding something. The allegations against Diddy are disastrous, and if Will Smith is found to be involved, it could have a devastating impact on his career. We've already seen what the Oscars incident did to his reputation, and these allegations could be the final nail in the coffin. Well, there are many other well-known figures who warned us about his wild parties before his arrest. In 2019, Ashton Kutcher hinted at the wild nature of Diddy's parties. According to him, he had a bizarre relationship with Diddy. Kutcher explained that their friendship started over a prank on his show Punked, and they would often hang out and watch football together. Diddy party stories, they're our favorite genre of anecdote if oh, you really? have one, yeah. Wow, okay, I've got a lot I can't tell. <laughs> so, um, I can't tell that one either. <laughs> I mean, I'm like actually cycling through them. There was one moment, so I, it's not really a party story, but our relationship was really bizarre. So it started over punked because yeah. he was like, yo, don't punk you me. can't punk me. And I was like, I don't want to tell you. Everybody's on the table. He's like, not me. I'm off the table. And so that started our conversation. However, Kutcher's tone suggested that there was more to the story and he seemed hesitant to share details. In a 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian seemingly shared details about attending a Diddy party. According to her, she went there to see the lifestyle of people, but it was too crazy and wild for her. Court. I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. Go this party. I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved. Her comments suggested that she was both fascinated and intimidated by the party scene. Even singer Usher recalled living with Diddy for a year in the 90s and attending some of his parties. When asked if he would let any of his kids attend one of Diddy's parties, Usher declared, absolutely not. Dad, now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. 
Not only Usher, even 50 Cent has been vocal about his discomfort with Diddy's parties. He claimed that Diddy made him uncomfortable with his illogical statements, including one time when Diddy asked him to go shopping together. 50 Cent looked at him like, what did you just say? And seemed infuriated by the comment. Last but not least, Cat Williams claimed that he turned down a staggering $50 million offer to attend one of Diddy's parties. Williams stated that he had to decline the offer four times in order to protect his integrity. He didn't want to compromise his values and humorously mentioned he wanted to maintain his dignity intact, implying that attending the party would have required him to do something that went against his principles. It seems like celebrities were pressured to attend his wild parties. Williams also hinted that more celebrity scandals would soon come to light. Guess what? He was right. The comments from these celebrities indicate a pattern of behavior from Diddy, one that is both wild and uncomfortable. While some stars have been drawn to Diddy's parties, others have been put off by the energy and atmosphere. As everyone has their eyes on Diddy, recent developments in his case are disturbing. What was his response to these allegations? How has his legal team responded to the allegations? You know, every day until he's out, I will be here with him working on his defense. Uh, Mickey. Will these allegations affect his career and business empire? Let's take a deeper look into this. The case against Diddy continues to unfold with new developments emerging in recent weeks. The disgraced singer has been named in over 10 lawsuits, all of which allege inappropriate conduct, coercion, and extensive use of controlled substances. Last month, he was indicted by a grand jury and later arrested on federal charges related to racketeering and trafficking. He was taken into federal custody in New York and has been denied bail twice. Diddy is currently being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn while awaiting trial. The latest lawsuit against Diddy was filed by Danity Kane member Dawn Richard, who alleges that Diddy behaved inappropriately and unlawfully confined her and threatened her life when she tried to defend his then-girlfriend Cassie. Richard's allegations are just the latest in a growing list of accusations against Diddy. There's basically just, you know, so someone who brought a civil case and... Recently, a list of 120 serious misconduct allegations has been filed against Diddy. You will be shocked to know that the complaints against Diddy stretch back to 1991, with the youngest alleged victim being just nine years old. 25 others claim they were minors at the time of the alleged incidents. According to attorney Tony Busby, who is representing the case, a list of individuals allegedly associated with Diddy is expected to be made public soon. Busby hinted that the list includes well-known figures. The list is expected to be released as part of a series of significant new lawsuits, which will be filed across multiple states in the next 30 days. According to accusers, Diddy's well-known white parties are linked to hotels with controlled substances frequently mentioned. His parties in Ibiza were the epitome of hedonism and excess. The rapper's fixer, who worked with him during his visits to the island, has revealed the extent of Diddy's wild benders and the lengths to which he would go to ensure that his parties were the most talked about events in town. His fixer recalled that no expense was spared when it came to organizing these events. From the moment Diddy and his entourage arrived on the island, they were treated to the best that Ibiza had to offer. This included luxury cars, tables at the most exclusive clubs, yachts, and even private security. Moreover, his parties were a magnet for beautiful young women, and his fixer would often be tasked with selecting the most attractive guests to join the rapper and his friends at his villa. These parties would often go on until the early hours of the morning, with guests indulging in various substances. It is also revealed that Diddy was very particular about his drinks, and his fixer would often have to ensure that his favorite vodka, Ciroc, was always on hand. The rapper was also very fashion conscious, and would always dress immaculately, even when partying. Diddy's fixer also revealed that the rapper would often bring a special bag with him on his trips to Ibiza. This bag contained a variety of playful items and accessories intended to add an extra layer of thrill to his parties. Well, Diddy has denied all accusations and entered a not guilty plea to the criminal charges. His team has maintained that the allegations are false and that Diddy is innocent. He's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. 
But what impact will these allegations have on his career? It will have a significant impact as he has been dropped by several business partners and has faced widespread backlash on social media. The case has also raised questions about the culture of the music industry and the ways in which powerful individuals can use their influence to exploit and abuse others. Diddy's legal team is fighting for his release after the third denied bail request by filing an appeal and adding prominent attorneys Anthony Rico and Alexandra Shapiro to the trial team. They had offered a $50 million bail package with conditions to address the government's concerns about his potential danger to the community. The conditions included Diddy wearing a GPS monitoring device at all times, being restricted to his home except for court appearances and meetings with his lawyers, being prohibited from contacting the alleged victims or witnesses in the case, and having no female visitors outside his family. The government has expressed concerns about Diddy's potential danger to the community, arguing that his wealth and influence make him a flight risk and that he has the resources to intimidate or harm the alleged victims and witnesses in the case. U.S. District Judge Andrew Carter denied Diddy's request for bail, stating that, the government has proven the defendant is a danger. The judge's decision was based on the government's evidence, which included testimony from the alleged victims and witnesses, as well as records of Diddy's past behavior. Diddy remains in custody as his legal team continues to fight for his release. But before we move further, let's rewind a bit. What relationship did Diddy have with Justin Bieber? What was Bieber doing spending so much time with Diddy as a teenager? And why is this raising concerns now? That's where we're heading next. So don't go anywhere. Early connection between Diddy and Bieber. The relationship between Sean, Diddy Combs, and Justin Bieber stretches back to when Bieber was a teenager, and it has now come under heavy scrutiny. When Bieber was only 15, he found himself spending time with Diddy, who was over 40 at the time. One of the most discussed moments from their time together is a resurfaced 2009 video where Diddy talks about how he was given custody of Bieber for 48 hours. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, so, um... Diddy even jokes about going full crazy and not being able to disclose what they were doing during the time. Although, at the time, this might have seemed harmless to some, in light of the serious allegations against Diddy, fans are revisiting these moments with growing concern. Several videos have resurfaced in the wake of Diddy's sex trafficking charges, and fans are now viewing them in a much darker light. In the 2009 clip, Diddy makes cryptic remarks about spending time with Bieber, which many find unsettling. Diddy, an established industry mogul referring to Bieber as being under his custody, has raised serious questions, especially now that Diddy faces allegations of exploiting vulnerable individuals. Another clip from a 2016 party has also gone viral, in which Bieber, visibly awkward, smiles as Diddy talks about their plans to go out and get some girls. While these moments were perhaps brushed off at the time as part of Bieber's rise in the entertainment industry, they now add fuel to conspiracy theories about what was really happening behind the scenes. Fans are questioning why a teenager was spending so much time in such situations with someone far older, and whether Bieber might have been taken advantage of, the reaction from fans in the media has been swift and critical. On platforms like X, formerly Twitter, users are expressing their shock, calling the videos creepy and disturbing. Some fans are openly wondering why no one stepped in to protect Bieber during his teenage years, particularly given Diddy's influence and wealth. Bieber's apparent discomfort in the resurfaced clips has only added to the concern, with many seeing it as a sign that something more sinister may have been happening. Despite the growing attention surrounding these videos and the charges against Diddy, Justin Bieber has remained conspicuously silent. Sources close to him suggest that Bieber is focused on his family and personal life, especially after recently becoming a father. However, fans are left speculating about the reasons behind his silence. Given Bieber's traumatic experiences in the music industry, which he has spoken about in the past, some wonder if there is more to the story than meets the eye. Bieber's decision to not publicly address the issue has left a gap that fans and critics alike are eager to fill. Whether he is avoiding the controversy to protect his own mental health or to distance himself from Diddy's legal troubles remains unclear. Still, 
His silence only adds more layers to the mystery surrounding his past relationship with Diddy. But while fans speculate, the legal case against Diddy continues to evolve. In the next chapter, we'll dive into the latest bombshell testimonies and new developments that could send shockwaves through the entire music industry. Could these new testimonies reveal more high-profile names involved? What other shockwaves might these developments send across the entertainment industry? Stick around, because it's about to get even more explosive. Broader news about the case and new developments Sean Diddy Combs' legal issues reached a new height in September 2024, when he was formally arrested and charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, and running a criminal enterprise. The charges stemmed from a long-running investigation that began in 2023 after Cassie Ventura, Diddy's former girlfriend, filed a lawsuit accusing him of years of physical and sexual abuse. Federal authorities raided Diddy's homes in Beverly Hills and Miami, uncovering disturbing evidence that tied him to a network of exploitation. One of the most significant elements of Diddy's legal battle is the growing number of testimonies from alleged victims. Some victims have claimed they were coerced into participating in freak-off parties, events allegedly orchestrated by Diddy that involve drugs, manipulation, and sexual exploitation. These testimonies provide a detailed and disturbing account of the culture of abuse that Diddy allegedly fostered within his inner circle. Perhaps most shockingly, some male sex workers have come forward with claims of exploitation, complicating the case even further. Their accounts point to a broader, more systematic form of abuse, where both men and women were subjected to Diddy's control. These testimonies could be pivotal in securing a conviction, especially given the weight of the accusations that have now been made public. There has also been significant discussion around the broader implications of the case for the entertainment industry. Some argue that Diddy's arrest is part of a larger reckoning within the music world, echoing the impact of the hashtag MeToo movement on Hollywood. They say the power dynamics at play are finally being exposed, and more individuals might soon be held accountable for years of unchecked abuse. As the legal proceedings move forward, there are a few possible outcomes for Diddy. Some legal experts believe that, given the severity of the charges and the growing pile of evidence, Diddy may seek a plea deal to avoid the lengthy and damaging process of a full trial. If he does go to trial and is convicted, he could face decades in prison, effectively ending his career and leaving his legacy in tatters. On the other hand, Diddy's legal team is working tirelessly to challenge the charges, claiming that the allegations are part of a coordinated effort to tarnish his name. They have suggested that Diddy is a target because of his wealth and influence. So, what does this mean for Diddy's once untouchable career? And is there a deeper connection linking him to other high-profile figures with similar allegations? That's exactly what we're about to explore as we dive into Diddy's unsettling links to Jeffrey Epstein, the Epstein connection. Now let's dive into one of the most shocking aspects of the Diddy case, the growing conspiracy theories linking him to Jeffrey Epstein. Both men stand accused of deeply disturbing operations involving the exploitation and manipulation of vulnerable individuals, which has led many to draw parallels between their cases. First off, the accusations against Diddy share some eerie similarities to those levied against Epstein. Both men are alleged to have used their wealth, power, and vast networks to exploit women and young people. Epstein's notorious parties on his private island involved high-profile guests, underage girls, and allegations of sexual trafficking on an international scale. Diddy, while not accused of the same kind of global trafficking, is said to have hosted similar freak-off parties, where drugs, manipulation, and sexual abuse were rampant. Some conspiracy theorists argue that Diddy's parties were smaller scale but reflected the same power dynamics and exploitation as Epstein's infamous gatherings. In both cases, we see a pattern of using social influence to draw in not only victims but other powerful individuals who either turned a blind eye or participated. For many conspiracy theorists, the parallels are too striking to ignore. Conspiracies run wild when high-profile figures like Diddy and Epstein are involved, largely because of the secrecy surrounding their personal lives and the hidden nature of their alleged crimes. 
In the case of Epstein, leaked flight logs and testimonies revealed a long list of famous guests, from politicians to actors. The question some are now asking is, was Diddy on that list? Could he have been involved in similar activities? As of now, no one has uncovered any verifiable proof of Diddy visiting Epstein's island. But in the court of public opinion, that hasn't stopped the rumors from spreading. Some argue that the legal trouble Diddy now finds himself in could be a result of trying to cover up connections to a much larger, more sinister network. A theory that draws disturbing parallels to how Epstein operated before his arrest. Well, I have kept this secret for like 14 years. I mean, the first time I experienced it was 2010. One of the most gripping conspiracy theories about both Diddy and Epstein is the idea that they ran blackmail networks. In Epstein's case, it's widely speculated that his lavish parties were a front for a larger operation designed to capture compromising material on the rich and powerful. Hidden cameras, secret recordings, and vulnerable guests. These were allegedly used to exert control over high-profile individuals. Similarly, some conspiracy theorists believe that Diddy's freak-off parties could have served the same purpose. The theory goes that these parties weren't just for Diddy's pleasure, but were elaborate traps set up to blackmail others. The events were allegedly recorded, with video evidence of powerful guests engaging in illegal or immoral acts. This supposed leverage could be used for business deals, political favors, or simply as insurance to keep people loyal. Of course, like many conspiracy theories, this one is rooted in speculation rather than concrete evidence. But given Epstein's well-known use of blackmail, many believe Diddy might have adopted a similar strategy, using his influence to manipulate not just victims, but fellow celebrities and business leaders. But this conspiracy goes deeper. Could Diddy's downfall be linked to powerful figures trying to cover up their own involvement? And are there more connections between Diddy and Epstein that have yet to surface? Follow along as we look into how Epstein's mysterious death may have set the stage for the danger Diddy now faces behind bars. Epstein's death and risks for Diddy in jail. Let's talk about one of the most controversial elements in the Diddy case, the risks he faces while in jail and how it mirrors the situation of Jeffrey Epstein before his death. The parallels between their cases have fueled even more speculation and conspiracy theories. Jeffrey Epstein's death in 2019 at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, or MCC in Manhattan, sparked intense controversy. Officially, his death was ruled as self-inflicted, but from the start, many people suspected foul play. Breaking news this hour, officials say multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life. Epstein, who was facing sex trafficking charges involving minors, had powerful connections across politics, entertainment, and finance. The idea that he could have been murdered to protect others involved in his criminal activity spread quickly. The fact that Epstein had previously been on watch but wasn't monitored properly at the time of his death only added to the public's distrust of the official story. Many believe he was silenced to protect high-profile individuals linked to his trafficking ring. Now, fast forward to 2024, and we see similar concerns rising with Diddy. After his arrest on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering, he was placed in the Metropolitan Detention Center, or MDC in Brooklyn, a facility notorious for harsh conditions and previous incidents of inmates taking their own lives. As with Epstein, people are worried about Diddy's safety while he awaits trial. Could Diddy be at risk of being silenced the same way conspiracy theorists believe Epstein was? These questions have been floating around online, with some even using the term Epstein to describe the potential danger Diddy faces while in custody. The biggest thing with yeah. all this, is he going to get Epstein? There had to be some he, real celebrities no, that were there, he, no, well, he has involved. tapes on people. In response to these concerns, Diddy has been placed on watch, despite reports that he isn't showing any signs of self-harm tendencies. According to his legal team, the decision is routine for high-profile inmates facing serious charges, and it's meant as a precautionary measure. But many are skeptical, viewing it as eerily similar to what happened to Epstein. So, what is being done to ensure Diddy's safety? Since his arrest, Diddy has been under close watch at the MDC, a facility that has been criticized for its unsafe conditions. 
the jail has struggled with violence, poor staffing, and several instances of self-harm in recent years. To mitigate the risks, Diddy has been placed in a special housing unit, or SHU, which provides heightened security and isolation from the general inmate population. These units are designed to protect inmates at risk of harm, either from themselves or others. In addition to his placement in the SAHU, Diddy is being monitored 24-7 by prison staff. This includes regular checks, constant video surveillance, and the use of a safety smock, a garment that cannot be used for self-harm. These measures are intended to prevent any incidents, especially given the high-profile nature of his case and the global attention it has drawn. However, while these precautions are in place, the Metropolitan Detention Center itself has been described as hell on earth by former inmates and critics alike. Reports detail overcrowding, frequent lockdowns, and a lack of basic services, raising concerns about whether the facility is truly equipped to prevent another tragic incident like Epstein's, Diddy's legal proceedings. It all started in September 2024, when federal authorities arrested him in New York on serious charges, sex trafficking, racketeering, and more. According to the indictment, Diddy allegedly ran a criminal enterprise for years that used his business empire, Bad Boy Entertainment, to facilitate these activities. We're talking forced labor, sexual exploitation, and even intimidation tactics to keep everything under wraps. These freak-off parties, which Diddy reportedly organized, were said to be wild, drug-fueled events where vulnerable people were exploited. But this isn't just about one or two incidents. The indictment suggests this behavior goes back years, potentially as far back as the early 2000s. For nearly a year, Diddy had already been battling multiple civil lawsuits accusing him of sexual misconduct. Things escalated when federal investigators raided his properties, turning up disturbing evidence of a larger network of abuse. So what's the fallout? Well, Diddy's career has been flipped upside down, his business empire, including bad boy records and ventures like Ciroc Vodka, has come under intense scrutiny. Not to mention, the credibility and legacy he spent decades building are now at risk of being completely dismantled. And despite his legal team insisting he's innocent, Diddy has been denied bail. Twice. Back in federal court today in Manhattan, this time trying to secure bail. The music mogul was denied bail yesterday. Prosecutors argued that his wealth and connections made him a flight risk, not to mention the risk of witness intimidation. While some fans are holding out hope for his innocence, the evidence seems to be stacking up, and his once glamorous life is now mired in scandal.